Mm, all right. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I, I just mentioned Melanie Rutherford, so this is amazing featuring Melanie Rutherford from The Book of Ryan. So, oh, weird. Oh, no, I had it upside down. <laughs> My bad. I don't know if you could even see that. Cool. And track list. Which, uh, let's see. 21 songs. <gasps> oh, what? I never realized that. Yeah, that's why this says bonus track edition. My CD only has 20 songs. It doesn't have Caterpillar with Logic. I'm actually okay with that, though, you know? It's not... The Eminem version's way better. So I'm trying to open this. Alright. Yeah, dude, this album is just... It's, it's weird that you can listen to an artist for, like, 15 years. And then they can drop an album that just reveals so much about them that you had no idea, you know? It's like most artists, I feel like, would kind of slowly leak out that stuff throughout their career and you would pretty much know everything, you know, 15, 20 years in. But, dude, this album was crazy. So this is actually the first time I've opened it. I mean, obviously I just opened it. So, see that. A little bit different than his other cases because... This one is not in a sleeve, it's just in like a like a jewel case style. It's still cardboard, but it has the jewel case on the one side where the CD goes. Let's get a pop it out. So there's the picture behind it. I'm guessing that's him and his brothers. And then his parents. Dude, that's funny. If this kid is, if that's Royce, then he has some mean old buck teeth going on. Wow, this is overwhelming. It feels like Yo, that's, wow. So I think he grew up in the, I, in the 70s? I feel like he's a little bit younger than my parents. Alright, so here's the book. There's half of it. Back. Let's see. Ryan, age two, 1980. Okay. All right. Never mind. So he's born in 78. Then. And the other page is just the uh, credits to the song. Same thing on the other side. And then the caption on this picture is... I cannot really... It looks like it says Marcus, age 11, Ryan, age 15, 1993, but I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really tell what that says. Maybe whatever Kid Vicious's name really is. If Kid Vicious is his younger brother, then whatever his... Maybe Fish, Kid Vicious, maybe his real name's Marcus. About your fear Marcus. As I don't know, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's, plenty of people feel it's weird that, like, some people, like, this isn't, uh... Like, you know, the in-between cursive and standard print? Some people will, like, connect a le- certain letters, but not other letters, and do the cursive version of some letters, and the regular version of other letters. Alright, there's the last page in the book. Hold on, hold on. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Oops. I like this song. This is the second track on the album, but it's basically the first song because the intro is. Uh, well, actually, I forget what the intro is. I think it's him talking to his son or something like that. You rich, but you broke, nigga, just don't know yet. Hotel. These rappers ain't woke yet. Security back them. Hotel. All right. Hotel. So. There you go. Oh, the song is called Woke. Did I already say that? I don't know. 
but there you go. There's the cover again, Book of Ryan, Royce to 5'9". For sure, this is my favorite album. Also, let's see, so Caterpillar features King Green and Eminem. Godspeed features Ashley Sorrell. Dumb featuring Boogie, which I think this is the first time I heard of Boogie, and then now, fucking, I love Boogie's music. Um, Bob Lo Boat featuring J. Cole, Summer on Lock featuring Pusha T, Jada Kiss, Fabulous, and Agent Sasko. Amazing featuring Melanie Rutherford, Outside featuring Marsha Ambrosius and Robert Glasper. Um, Stay Woke featuring Ashley Sorrell, and then First of the Month featuring T Pain and Chavis Chandler. And then, obviously, like I said before, the uh, deluxe version is um, has the Logic uh, Caterpillar featuring Logic. So, there you go. Book Orion.